Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having an awesome day. And today we're going to be looking at how we can import other models into our existing workspace in Fusion 360. And what I'm also going to show you as well is how you can import a step file from something like GrabCAD. So first thing we're going to do is just have a new project window open. And then what we're going to do is come up to this data panel in the top left. And it's really important when you're doing this to have a good structure for your designs. So you want to create a new project. I've already done one in this case called tutorial. So if you double click into your directory, what you can do is you can create new designs and save them to this directory. And that keeps everything nice and neat for situations like this, where you want to import models into your workspace. So you can see here, I've got two models. We've got a coupler and a wheel. And you'll probably recognize these if you've been following my channel. I'm doing an RC car project where I'm designing an RC car pretty much from scratch. So just to show you why I've split these up. So if I double click on wheel, for example, and we'll see what that does, it'll open up a new window. So you can quite clearly see here, if we look at the sketches and the bodies, that I've designed this on its own. It's its own design in its own file. And then what I've done is I've saved that file to this directory that we're working in. And sometimes when you design this stuff, it's much easier to do it this way than to have everything crammed into one design file. So again, if we click on coupler, you'll see that'll open up another design window. And again, I've designed this on its own here, but then we can make use of this when we wanna bring it all together. And that's typically the way you go around designing something that has a lot of different components. So I'll show you now, if we create a new design, how we can add these in to this workspace. So say for example, here I wanted to create um, the RC car. What I'd want to do is import these in and use joints to bring everything together. So every time you want to import something in, you have to create a new component. So on your um, project tree here where everything expands out, first thing you're going to have to do is save it. Because if you try to import them to a non-saved file, it's not going to work. So you want to come up to file, save. And it's important that you choose here the directory that you just created for your project. In this case, it's called tutorial. And I'm just going to name this as well, tutorial, and hit save. And now you can see that's appeared there in the workspace. It, it's saved to the right place, right? So now what we want to do is right click the very top of our tree on our main component, and we're going to click new component. And we're going to double click in here and rename it to wheel and just hit enter. And it's important that you create a new component when you do this because each thing you import has to be its own component and it becomes much easier to manage that way. And when you wanna bring everything back together using joints, that process will become so much easier. So literally all you do is you make sure you've got your data panel open, you find what you wanna import and bear in mind, these are all Fusion 360 file formats. Uh, as I said, I'll show you something from GrabCAD in a second. But you just click on your, your object and you click and drag over on to the component. But before we do that, you want to make sure that the component you want it to become is active, right? You want to activate that component. What I mean by that is if you hover over the very top one, you see this little circle that appears next to it. If, if the top one's active, and you drag that on. So you wanna make sure you come to the component you've created, in this case it's called wheel. You wanna hover to the right over that circle and click it. Now that's the active component. So you wanna click and drag wheel onto that component and you'll see what it'll do now is it's just imported it. It's gonna ask you, you know, what orientation you want it in. You can set all this up and just hit okay. And now that's in our workspace. And it's really that simple. So if I show you as well, the other one, so again, we go up to our main component at the top of the tree. We right click, new component. We want to double click and you always want to name your components as well. So we're going to call this the coupler. And then we click and drag on to our component. So we do the same thing. Make sure it's activated. We're going to hit OK. And there we go. And the reason you can see the wireframe of the wheel is because when you activate an individual component, everything else becomes a wireframe. So if I activate the wheel, for example, the coupler will become a wireframe. And there we go, you can see that there. And you can just click and drag, because they're all in free space, you can move them around however you want. 
If you want to see all the components, you have to go up and activate the master component here. And there we go, you can see everything. And just to give you an example of how we bring these together, using joints, it's really simple. So if we go up to assemble joint, capture position. So we want this coupler to couple to the wheel in that space there. So literally all we would do is select the center of this hole here as our first component. And we zoom in here and do the same thing. And watch what happens. It just puts it in position, right? You can see there we need to adjust the angle of it. So you can go ahead and say maybe 15. You can adjust it till it's about right. It's probably going to be about 26, 27, I think that's it. So we look at that. There we go. You can see that's lined up perfectly. We hit OK. It's a rigid join. And that's it. And you can see now how designing things in a modular way, where you design the component in its own file, becomes useful. Because it just comes together like this once you're done. And it's much easier to manage all your different parts. Because it's surprising how quick this tree can fill up. And you can get lost in there, especially when you're designing stuff. So I like to break it down like this. It makes life so much easier. So now what I want to show you is how you can import something from GrabCAD, for example. So if we go to the web, you can see here I've got this model of this motor driver from GrabCAD. And I'll leave a link to this below if you're interested. But basically, you can just download files here. It'll download a zip file. And in that zip file, you'll have a bunch of different formats like this. You can see we've got... Um, different file types, we've got IGS, and the one we're looking at is step file. So what we wanna do is grab that step file. So we're gonna to go to Fusion 360, make sure you've got your data panel open again, and you'll see there's an upload button. If you click that, Fusion lets you upload other models directly here. So if we go and grab our step file that we just downloaded, and drag it in, you can see it detects it, it's giving you the name, it's asking you, do you wanna upload it? You wanna hit upload, and you'll see here on the left, that is now uploading the file and it'll, it can take some time to process depending on how complex the model is. Typically it's not too bad but I'll speed up the video here so you don't have to wait. Alright so the file's uploaded and if we double click it that should open it again in its own window and from here you can make changes to it if you want to um, but what we're going to do is just drag it in and it's the exact same process. So you've seen how you're able to upload step files uh, it, process it, it processes it on the cloud, it works all that out for you. So if we go back to our original tutorial workspace, literally all you would do again, right click, new component, and we're gonna call this motor board. Make sure the component's activated once again. You simply drag the board over onto that component. You'll see it pop up, there it is. The orient orientation is all correct, I'm happy with that. You can move it around if you want to, but I'm just gonna hit okay. And from here, you know, you could go and add color and stuff like that if you really wanted to. But again, we're gonna activate our master component here. And that's it. There are models all in one workspace and they've all been imported from other design files. So I hope that one's been useful. Um, this is quite a common question and I haven't seen a lot of tutorials cover stuff like this. And if you're getting into design, it's really something you need to know. Um, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning more about Fusion 360, I've put together an awesome course and it's available on my website. If you're interested in that, I leave a link in the description below and I highly recommend you check it out. So that's it for this one. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next video.